Wait, wait, wait. We're not done. Hey, that's my favorite done. white boy. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> we're, not we're not done yet. Oh, yeah. One last thing. Now that you're introduced to all these characters and all these different shows, they're going to get everybody back together, and you'll see Daredevil again in The Defenders. Yeah! <laughs> I, I was... a. Uh, when I when defended when I first introduced to the Defenders comic book, I was yes. like, um, it was in a time period where 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 everything was Avengers and huge, and and to me Defenders was a little off to the left, like yeah. you know, street like, level, like like right, street, street level, level. Avengers, that's yeah. what it right, is. right. So I am so on board, which is funny because Doctor Strange wasn't a Defender, and he was like he's still considered to me one of the most powerful people in that universe, if he ever gets over his own neurosis and realizes he's the most powerful person in that universe. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, I mean, he's a little, my Doctor Strange is a little neurotic. I mean, he's a little, you know, any any one of these two ladies would have dated him in high school. Because <laughs> 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 he, he's crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry, sweetie. What are you trying to say there? <laughs> <laughs> Look, Women make bad choices in men. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All I know is it, so it, it's sorry. a nice little favor for what is eventually be happening with, with Daredevil. Luke, as long as they don't miscast yes. Luke Cage. Mike Coulter. They've already cast him. They've already, he's already been cast. Dude. Where have you he been? Be I, know he's, I know he's been cast. When I'm, when I, I say that to say, I got to see him. It's kind of like a lot of people, a lot of people, are, a lot of people are feeling about... Hold on, about let me show you. No, no, I have to see <laughs> him. Like, just like I did with Daredevil. I have to actually see it on oh, my on my big-ass okay. television going, big God, television? He, screwed, he screwed up, or... God, he was great. I want to. I want to see it all. I want to take it all in. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, so, yeah. Keith. Yeah. Do you know when AKA Jessica Jones drops? That's the only thing I don't know when it drops. But I haven't been able to it'll, see it'll, that either. Though. I think it's supposed to be late 2015 or early 2016. I'll Mike Coulter. <laughs> Mike Coulter for Luke Cage is going to be in half of AKA Jessica Jones. He's got to be before he starts in baby his daddy. own series. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> um, the one thing that yeah, <laughs> if you haven't read a comic, you don't know. Big news, ladies. I mean, could you imagine having Luke Cage's baby? I mean, that's you have a big, ha- big ass <laughs> Afro when he come out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how she feel about that. <laughs> 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 <I guess after>. <laughs> <laughs> But what what we haven't talked about yet, Daredevil's been picked up for season two. Mm-hmm. Yay. And it's airing next year. Yes. We do not have to wait until after The Defenders, which is what I was afraid of. Actually, originally well, it was going to have, they were looking at it after now, The Defenders. Now, is he also supposed yes. to be doing a cameo in an upcoming a movie, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah, yeah, we talked about Civil War. But, but again, cameo. Okay. I know we. It, it could be. It could be yeah. miserable, or it could be. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Blasphemy! It will not be miserable. <laughs> I, so I'm, gonna rock. I am going to say that something that I really appreciate Marvel doing, at least with this, is the fact that they are going to let their TV shows cross over with their yeah. movies. They're already doing that. Yeah, I'm. I'm thrilled with and that. They've done an amazing job with Agents of Shield. Absolutely, yeah. they have built Thank up that uh, uh, immortal or Immortals universe yes. so much. I have, oh, I have, it, it gives me goosebumps. Every time they go back to Sky's storyline, it's mm-hmm. just... Le- the fact that the show... Okay, the first season, le- the fact that they were so linchpinned by Winter Soldier that the first half they could never say Hydra. Like, their hands were tied behind their back. Mm-hmm. Season two, they have actually been given the freedom to start leading into a movie... Four years away. Yeah. Yes. Imagine. That is, that, is, that, is, that is so nice. But, that, but that's that's the thing, that when you have a company the way that Disney is, to be able to get people to go, okay, this is how it's going to roll. You will do what we say, or else. <laughs> you know. Now, with DC, my thing, and as I've said on past episodes before, I understand why they're not trying to do things together. Because the train had already left the station by the time you'd already... I mean, Man of Steel was already being shot at the same time they were developing Arrow. And the developer, the showrunner for Arrow, creator I should say, had actually worked for DC. That's the reason why I'm so disappointed by some of the ways that they've done with the current season of Arrow. Mm -hmm. But we'll still watch. you, You can't easily get that stuff back together once everybody started rolling with their storylines. And with Man of Steel... They were already discussing how the rest of the DC universe was going to go. This was all going to happen inconsequential to whatever happened on TV. So I know that there's a certain actor by the name of Stephen Armell that's not very happy with that. But guess what, dude? You can be He's not happy great. with it. Stephen, we still love you. Okay, you're Yeah, doing, we love you. but You're doing, you're doing good. You're, Don't stop doing what yeah, you're doing. Yeah, but you're not the one writing the checks. Okay. Although we are looking forward to seeing you as Casey Jones. Yes. Yeah. No, that's a 
that's you guys. <laughs> <laughs> my okay. my son my room. son says uh, if he does it well, then it'll prove that he doesn't suck. <laughs> Which don't this is why I don't talk to teenagers in the first place. Okay. <laughs> Casey Jones is an iconic character, and I love seeing iconic characters done right. And and so I'm looking forward to that. What I'm also looking forward to is, because of all of this goodness on television and goodness in movies, is is keeping the goodness in the comic books, which leads me into what's happening in a couple of weeks. Not a couple. Next week. Next, next week. Next, week. next, next weekend. week. Yeah, next week we got free comic book day on Saturday, May 2nd. Second. May 2nd. Uh, the comic Cave is actually doing a lot of great stuff. Uh, uh, I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> please don't again, don't please sign my comic, please. Okay, I totally. <laughs> but will. David Fott will be there. The great, the artist David Fott, yeah, amazing, amazing artist, Big amazing uh, artist for uh, for uh, the Drifter series. Uh, I love all of David's work. Uh, the guys from Radiation Day is going to be there as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, so be sure and stop out at the Comic Cave. There's also going to be a really good local artist. Adam McLaughlin is going to be there. He does fantastic work. I bought his stuff. I'm going to have him do some stuff for cosplay. Oh, yeah. It's going to be good times. He's Free he's comic really book day awesome. is one of my favorite things uh, just, just because it's awesome. If you want to know what you can look forward to finding, just go to the official website for free comic book day, which is freecomicbookday.com. And be sure to stop out at the Comic Cave uh, in the Fremont Center right here in Springfield, Missouri. At thecomiccave.com. Boom. Those were really com- uh, complicated titles. Can you tell me one more time? Yes, it's freecomicbookday.com, followed by... Comic Cave. <laughs> dramatic pause. You know, oh, like, oh, my like bad. Chat- Sorry, you're right. like, pause you're, for dramatic It's effect. like, honey, where's my... <laughs> you're, you're not Shatner. We don't have to put up with that. Uh, <laughs> thankfully, 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 uh, this is actually our second um, free comic book day. Always had a good time. Always love it. I'm not sure what we're doing, if anything, because we're going to be so busy dealing with uh, what happens a day before free comic book. Age of Ultron. Oh, I'm oh dealing with it right now. <laughs> This is the 800-pound gorilla that is currently smashing through everything overseas. Oh, I'm telling my you, God. A week from tomorrow, you could very well be looking at a film that will have grossed at least $500 million. Before it even gets here. Yes. No, yes. No, 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 no. A after, week from tomorrow. Right, after right, domestic right, release, sorry, this show, this movie is going to It's actually doing good, well, well enough to where it could do that much here. Well, it's already blowing it up overseas. Right. See, I don't really do domestic. I just do total. Yeah. You know, it's like having two jobs and only counting the paycheck from one. I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, look, all the money comes in, all the money counts. Right now, this movie is blowing up and could very well outgross the first one. It will. Now... Right now, I know that Universal is celebrating like nobody's business having made a billion and a half since the beginning of January with only two movies. But I'm telling you right now, Disney is waiting to pop the champagne because you've got the Avengers and Star Wars (gasps) in one year. We're looking at at least... $3 Three billion dollars potentially for two movies. Well, it was one of the great things Marvel did with their sharing their universe here. Yes, everybody who's kept up with Marvel, yes. Agents of the Shield, anything else. Yes, they're going to watch that first weekend because they want to be able to go watch Agents of the Shield next week, right? And be able to keep up with exactly what happens. So everybody that wants to watch those shows is going to be there that weekend. And Remember what and, happened and, with with Winter Soldier? And, and, <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Of course, I will be there. Uh, premiere night, Thursday night, with Vision Con. We're actually going to be at the Branson IMAX Center. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of giveaways. We're going to be giving away passes in this year's Vision Con. We're going to have a drone that we're actually going to drop things in the theater. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We've got a costume contest. We're going to have where you can shoot uh, Iron Man and that stuff like that. So it's, <laughs> it's going to be a great time. There is awesome. a possibility of Fanatics and the Fan doing something live uh, at some point. I don't know. I mean, I'm going to be going more as a fan, but I'm going to figure something out for our fans just to make you feel like what this experience is like. Yeah. But honestly, how long? It's like we've like we waited too long for it. You know, I can't almost, wait till Thursday. It's, like, it's almost like Christmas Eve, but for like two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> the difference is I don't take Christmas off. I took H.O. <laughs> so, I did too. <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Which that leads me to my next question. Are you going to do the same thing for Star Wars? 
Oh, we already have a lot of plans. <laughs> <laughs> the second that we got to see this deal with the, the IMAX, we started talking about Star Wars. Because, I mean, we got the entire 501st who's ready to show up at a win. Oh, my God. Uh, we want to do big. We want to do... And we got an entire year to plan. So we've been we've been ready for that. And when we saw this new trailer this weekend, or this past week... And if you haven't yes. seen it, you need oh. to see it. It might change your mind. It might change your entire reality. <laughs> I watched it, changed my pants, and watched it again. <laughs> I, I literally could feel my heart beating when I watched it. <laughs> I, I, I haven't had that visceral reaction to on, watching tell a trailer. Us, tell us. It, it, <laughs> tell us. It, tell it us was, the truth. You rolled a tear, didn't it, you? I, I was. Yeah. I was. Yeah. I was really, like, hello. I, and I was so worried when I first heard Star Wars 7. Yes. I'm just like, oh, 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 I saw the prequels. And, you know, I was in the age group that the prequels were targeted for at yes. the time they came out. <laughs> so, and I didn't like them. Daniel <laughs> they Ratcliffe. They made you cry. Daniel Radcliffe was actually on set for that movie, and I I I, I don't need to ever watch him or this talk show that he was on, which I think was Conan or something. And yet I listened to that interview and I'm like, all right, I'm sitting there waiting for this trailer to come out. <laughs> I didn't even care. I wanted to see what he saw, and now uh, I got Daniel. You were right. I'm sorry. I take it all back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, again, this is just. I knew it was going to be good, mainly because a lot of people keep forgetting that when they had that big thing where Lucas sells everything to the mouse, he got nothing to do with nothing. He's just sitting back and he's counting the train load of cash that he got for the deal, which, again, George, I love you. Call me. Come on. We can do lunch. (laughs) He'll even pay. (laughs) Seriously, I, I never worried about any of it because... You have fans working on it. Everybody that is working on every level of this film is a fan of this franchise. Everything that I've seen that Disney's done with their you know recent takeover of Marvel and everything, it's only re-energized me. I think that we should just give everything to Disney. <laughs> you hear that, Fox? Yes, Including please. Keith. Fox, just give back X-Men. Let them go home. Sony, give them back too. You've already started. Just give them all just back. Let it, let it be. Let it be whole. I mean, Hugh Jackman's gone. Yes, we can find somebody else. We can make this so cool. We have the technology. We have the power and the time and the cash. (laughs) Plus, Hugh Jackman, we can bring him back as Wonder Man for the Avengers. Actually, that's not a terrible idea. Dude, I am so on board now. Wow, to keep it, the, don't tell Keith. That wasn't a bad idea. That was yeah. amazing. <laughs> that's, like, that's like the fourth time. Okay. <laughs> that's like the fourth time you've heard that, though. I dude. know. But I just, okay. Okay. I, 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 I like. I don't like the purple Wonder Man. I like the one with the red eyes, the regular guy. I and so you like him now as the the Avengers dude, or do you like him as basically the leader of the Guardians of the Galaxy? Oh God, I forget how many Wonder Mans there are. <laughs> that was that was a future comic. He's he's a he's. I just think he's a great character. Um, Simon one, Williams, one of them dangerous ones, though. You know, there's you know there's there's that, that character. You're like, wait a minute, he could really cause some problems with. Kind of like kind of like how they changed Luke Cage originally when they because originally he had superpower and took it back and so forth. And so yeah. he's dangerous, but yeah. yeah, that's wow, that's not a half. He's not big enough. There we go. It's just to get rid of that. Idea. <laughs> Just to get rid of Hugh Jackman. He ain't picking up, okay? Yeah, okay. <laughs> you go with that. I'm sure Affleck the ladies actually, here would be willing to disagree. Affleck wouldn't actually have be a half bad. Just be, If you look at the size he got up to for Batman. Uh, I, you know what? Affleck is going to have his hands full just being back to <laughs> Yes. It's going to be a full bat cave. It's going to be awesome. But since we're talking about stuff going back, to Marvel and Disney. Yeah. Yes. Can we talk about Spider Man? Please. <laughs> are we talking like the fact that there were five actors who were on the short list, or are we talking about the I think I think there's somebody here that knows the short list. Oh, I think boy. Kate should enlighten yeah. us on this short list of actors. Uh, most of them I say are pretty much relatively up and coming people. Which which, what doesn't actually make them bad. We've seen a no. lot of up-and-comings that have done great here recently. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, you've got people like Asa Butterfield, who's, you know, been in Ender's Game, and that's, you know, yeah. his big thing. And you've got Nat Wolf, who's kind of the up-and-comer with the Fault in Our Stars mm-hmm. and Paper Towns. And then you've got... He Liam played Daredevil James. in Fault in Our Stars, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> if you're wondering, yes, he was the blind kid. Um, we've got Liam James, who was 
If you watch Psych, he's Yay. young Sean, and he also was in The Way Way Back. Mm -hmm. um, Timothy, it looks.